everyone, it's Shireen. Welcome back to Beauty Editing 101. Today I'm teaching you how to edit and watermark square Instagram videos in Final Cut Pro X. I'm also showing you some of my Instagram editing tips and tricks, how to export your videos, and maintain high quality when uploading to Instagram. To create a square video, go to File, New, Project. Give your project a name, then go down to Video. Change the format to Custom, and make your resolution 1080 by 1080. Keep everything else the same, then press OK. Voila, a square canvas. Now it's time to insert some clips. You can either import new clips or use clips you've already imported. I'm going to use some pre-selected clips from one of my YouTube videos that I want to make into an Instagram video. To copy and paste the clips to my new project, I'm going to highlight all the clips to select them, then press Command C, go back to my new project, then press Command V. In my case, I'm editing clips between two different libraries, so I'm going to press OK to continue. Now that I have all my clips, you'll notice they've maintained their aspect ratio within our square canvas. To make your clips fill the square, go to your video inspector and scroll down to spatial conform. Change your setting from fit to fill. Magic! Now you're not done yet. We're going to go over some more editing tips to make your Instagram video look high quality and professional. While still having all of your clips selected, go to your audio inspector and lower your volume all the way down to negative infinity. This will get rid of any background noise or unwanted talking in your video. I'm going to zoom in my timeline to make it easier to edit. Since Instagram has a 1 minute limit for videos, I'm going to trim down my clips by dragging the sides. You can also use the blade tool by pressing B to cut your clips. Once you have your video edited to a minute or less, it's time to properly align your individual clips. If any of your clips are off-center, you can center them by clicking on the clip, selecting the transform tool, and dragging your clip either to the left or right. You can also do this for multiple clips at the same time by having the clips highlighted then dragging them to the center. The effect will be applied to all the selected clips. This is a great way to speed up your editing. To make your video more fun to watch, add some transitions. There are tons you can choose from that come with Final Cut Pro, or you can use presets. I usually like adding my transitions at the end of my video right before my outro and right before that clip showing the final look. Now of course, you can't forget about the music. Make sure that the songs you're using are not copyrighted, otherwise you'll get flagged by Instagram. I get a lot of my music from no copyright sounds here on YouTube. I'll have them linked in the description. To add music, go to the audio sidebar and drag and drop a song to your timeline. One of the most important things I highly recommend to every creator is watermarking their videos so that you will still be credited if someone reposts or steals your videos, which has unfortunately happened to me several times just this past month. To add a watermark, go to titles and drag the custom option to your timeline. Make sure to place it on top of your clip so that it'll show up. Go to the text inspector and type in your handle. I'm going to change my font to something more aesthetically pleasing, make the size bigger, increase the tracking, center at the bottom, and lower the opacity. These are all personal preference, but I think it's best to have your handle fill a decent part of the bottom of your video, again, to prevent stealing. It's easier to crop out a small logo in the corner of a video and still have the dimensions look nice than it is to crop out a larger chunk from the bottom, you feel me? Anywho, drag out that text layer all the way to the end of your video so that the watermark will be on all the clips and now your video should look something like this. To export your video in high quality from Final Cut Pro, I recommend two options. The first one is going to File, Share, Master File. The only problem with this method is that it always results in a larger file size. So what I like to do is choose Apple Devices 1080p instead. Then go to Settings and change the video codec to better quality and press Share. The file size is about half the size of that master file option, so this is the way to go if you're editing a lot and would rather save space on your hard drive. You can check on the status of the export by going to Window, Background Tasks. You'll see the progress bar next to sharing. Once the video is exported, I like to drag it to my desktop and upload it to Dropbox. I find that Dropbox helps preserve the quality of my videos when uploading to Instagram. Another option to preserve that high quality is to use AirDrop to send the file from your Mac or your laptop directly to your iPhone. Speaking of, now on your phone, going back to my Dropbox method, open up the Dropbox app and then save your video to your camera roll. To do this, press the three dots at the top right, export, save video, OK. After the video has finished saving to your camera roll, open up Instagram. Now upload as you normally would. You can also choose a custom cover, hashtag clickbait, <coughs> do for the views, and then fill in your caption. 
I'm actually going to save this post as a draft to upload later, so all you have to do for that is press the back icon at the top left, then save draft. It's super easy. And that is how to edit watermark and export high quality square Instagram videos in Final Cut Pro. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and comment below letting me know which beauty editing video you would like to see next. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!